These pictures show examples of the type of damage that is caused by cavitation. This is a picture of a large Kaplan-style turbine runner that is now removed from service at a hydroelectric power generation facility. On the low pressure side of the turbine blade in approximately this location, we can see some evidence of the type of surface pitting that is typical of cavitation damage. Another example of cavitation is located in approximately this area of the blade tip of the turbine runner. This next example is also of a hydroelectric facility. This particular facility dates back to the early 1900s and is now abandoned. This is a picture of a horizontal turbine housing. If we look inside the housing, about here, we can see the results of cavitation and erosion that occurred over the years of service. Also, notice that if you look closely, you may be able to see what appears to be the results of a brazing process repair in a couple of locations that occurred sometime in the past. In order to understand how a moving fluid can cause the type of damage that we have seen in these examples, it is helpful to review a few basics of fluid dynamics.